Okay, do you know where the word drone is actually from? The term drone originally came from the male bee, known for its hard work and service of the queen. Whoa, that's interesting. Drones are one of the most misunderstood technologies of our time. Often seen as significant expensive toys, they are actually used in many different ways. With the rapid growth of the drone industry, it will be interesting to break down their early beginnings as spy tools used by the military, and then we'll see how they've evolved into the everyday gadgets that they are today. So without further ado, let's get into it. It all started with a balloon and a piece of string. How far back do you assume drone technology goes? Can you make a wild guess? Come on, pause the video and make a guess in the comment box. The 1950s? Was it in World War II? Hmm, push even before. You will have to fast forward some decades. The history of drones goes back to the early 1800s. Impressive, right? Drones really came into their own during the Vietnam War, when they were used for reconnaissance and bombing missions. The Austrian military used balloons to destroy the city of Denise. The balloons were filled with explosives and were intended to be dropped on strategic sites on the city-state of Venice. Several weaponized balloons the Austrians released failed to reach their targets, but a few managed to get their targets and were thus effective. Hell no! Some of them even backfired. The failure rate was relatively high, so it was not surprising that the popularity of balloons did not increase. Drone technology has primarily been unused for decades since they didn't fully understand its potential. Fast forward decades. In the early 1900s, the Wright brothers developed the first unmanned aerial vehicle for the US Army. The unmanned aircraft comeback began after the Wright brothers successfully conducted their Kitty Hawk flight. The Rooston Proctor aerial target is considered the first winged unmanned aerial vehicle. The aircraft was based on the designs of Nikola Tesla. Just like we use radio signals to control unmanned aerial vehicles today, the Rustin Proctor aerial target aircraft was owned by radio signals. Then came the remote control helicopters. Yeah, drones have come a long way since the early days of simple remote controlled aircraft. Back in 1946, a remote controlled drone prototype based on a B-17 flying fortress took off from Hawaii and flew to California, remotely controlled by US Army Air Forces. The two remote controlled aircraft that made this 2,600 mile journey set a new set in its record for aircraft that are controlled from a remote location. The trip took almost 15 hours and it was a great challenge. And then the drones we love today. Drones continued to be used for military purposes throughout the late 19th and early 20th centuries. Drones are used for various purposes these days, from photography to delivery. Drones have been used extensively in military contexts, but their use has expanded to other applications. Consumer drones hit the market in 2006. Whoa, that was a significant landmark. As more non-military drones began to increase, consumers began to realize the potential for various uses, from pleasure to professional photography. The Federal Aviation Administration soon got on board with the consumer drone use. Still, the attitude has changed in recent years. Now, recreational drone use is increasing. Today, companies like Amazon and Uber Eats are considering using drones as a delivery method for their businesses. The public is increasingly interested in drone technology every year. So what's next for drones? Yeah, as drone technology continues to improve, the possibilities for their use are only growing. There is a lot of exciting drone technology out there. And new applications are constantly being discovered. Drones are likely to have a significant impact on the delivery sector. They could be used to deliver goods directly to people's homes or places where traditional delivery methods are not feasible or safe. Drones are already used to transport goods in some parts of the world, which will likely become more widespread. Delivery by drone can be more efficient and could also be used to deliver goods to difficult to reach areas. Another area where drones could be instrumental is agriculture. Drones can be used to survey crops and collect data, which can be used to improve yield and efficiency. This technology will only become more prevalent as it becomes more efficient and affordable. Some drones will become more popular and widespread in the coming years. The drones can be used for various purposes, such as monitoring traffic and conducting search and rescue missions. Autonomous drones can become increasingly prevalent as they can fly without a human pilot. Some also believe that drones may become less popular in the future. There are some concerns that stricter regulation of drones can lead to safety and privacy concerns. In the end, new technologies may begin to replace drones. There's no way to know for sure what the future holds for drones. It will be interesting to see how the role of drones in our society changes as technology advances. That's it. Drones are one of the hottest topics in tech right now. They've come a long way in a short amount of time and show no signs of slowing down. And with all of these advancements, it is clear that drones are here to stay. But don't forget to comment on the best model of drones available in the market. Still, then wait for our next video.